So now what I'm going to do is import a pre-recorded audio and then edit the slides according to it so that it matches up. So there's no default option to actually do this uh, and gives you more control, but there's a trick that we can use to import a pre-recorded audio. So it can be with a music or without. So I'm going to go into music right here and over here you can see this add my music. I already have my imported here, but anyways, I'm going to click on add my music. It can be a narration, doesn't matter, it just brings in the audio. So I go over here, click on audio for Adobe Spark, open and it'll be loaded right here. So it says adding song right here, as you can see, and it's loading my audio for me. So now it's been imported and now what I can do is I can play it and I can hear the sound that I imported. It's a pre-recorded audio. Okay. So this is a pre-recorded audio and I'm going to import. Okay, so you can hear the sound. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add in some captions right here. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to add in an icon right here. So this is going to be recorded. So I'm going to search for some images right here. So this is a pre-recorded audio. So I'm going to use this microphone right here. I'm going to add in another let's say this is it so this is a pre-recorded audio i'm going to add in some text or something like that but that's it all right so i'm going to use split screen for this so that i can use the icon and the text right here so i'm using split screen and i'm going to use text uh, right here pre-recorded and let's see how that sounds okay so this is a pre-recorded audio Okay, this is a pre-recorded audio that plays around for about four seconds, which seems this fine. So I'm going to add in another slide over here. And let's say I'm going to uh, use photo right here. And I'm going to search for import. Let's see if we have some image. So no specific image regarding this. So I'm just going to use a text right here and say import. Right, so let's see how that sounds now. I can I'll actually go over here, play from here. And I'm going to import this into Adobe Spark yeah, and use it for my video presentation and use it for my video yeah. presentation. All right, so I'm going to go and add one more slide over here and you, can, and you can see that everything is lining up. So I'm going to go all over here onto my photo and I'm going to use presentation as an image. So I'm going to go over here this is going to be presentation just like this. So this is my video presentation. No, that's actually uh, not very good. So I'm just going to use mm, 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 this image as uh, the one, okay, video presentation. So let me play everything out and see how that looks out. I'm gonna play this, okay. So this is a pre-recorded audio and I'm going to import this into Adobe Spark and use it for my video presentation. Okay. All right, so, so that actually is working out quite fine. Seems like everything actually is working out, but if you want to change the timing, let's say for example, uh, this one, uh, in the beginning, I do not want pre-recorded to be shown until I say pre-recorded. So I'm going to add in another slide right here, drag it uh, about here. And over here, I'm going to have it around two seconds. So let me see how that looks now, okay. So this is a pre-recorded audio and I'm going to import this into Adobe Spark and use it for my video. Okay, we use it for my video presentation right around nine seconds I need it out. So import should be a lot less. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to go into import. So there's no specific way. This is just a trick. So it does take some time to actually adjust this. So I'm going to uh, bring it around two seconds and let me see how that, how everything works. Okay. So this is a pre-recorded audio and I'm going to import this into Adobe Spark and use it for my video presentation. Okay, so that seems um, everything so is this okay. Is a pre -recorded audio. So this is a pre-recorded audio and so forth. So I'm going to remove the credit, high credit and outro, that's it. So outro is right there. Let me play that out now. Okay. 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 So this is a pre-recorded audio and I'm going to import this into Adobe Spark and use it for my video presentation. 
So that's how you create uh, a, sli a slide video by using a pre-recorded audio. So if you guys learned something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.